Welcome to another episode of Shock and Odd Toy Reviews. Some idiots, camera, and review. We are looking at Vicron. Yes. Am I pronouncing this? It is a Mattel Creations uh, special. Had to order it. Blah, blah, blah. Masterverse? Masterverse, yes. He-Man related. Yes. It is apparent neither of you know this. I've so, read. Oh, you've read up on? Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe you can correct me then. Okay, we'll see. Wilson. Yeah. Wilson doesn't know the story. No. So, in the beginning, they wanted to make a toy line, right? Yeah. He-Man, way back in the day. Yeah. And so, they made prototypes. And what was popular back in the early 80s was Star Wars, G.I. Joe, and Sword and Sorcery. Yeah. So, they made a prototype, essentially Conan the Barbarian. And then they made a prototype... Boba Fett, and then they made a prototype tank guy, and they ended up going with the barbarian style. Okay. And they incorporated the science fiction elements of the other ones into everything, so instead of just being straight up sword and sorcery, sorry, they had guns and rocket packs and stuff and vehicles. And that is how Masters of the Universe was kind of born. So, in the Masters of the Universe classics line, they made Vicor, which was the Conan version of this guy, as close as they could make it to look like Conan to the original Mark, I believe it was Mark Taylor drawing. And then they made Vicron in the Classics line, where you got the figure with all the different get up. And I love that thing. It was super cool. So then they did it to me again, and they offered it in Masterverse. Yeah. And in a moment of weakness and late at night, I went, oh, man, I totally want that guy to go with my other awesome Kevin-painted Viking guy. And, again, as usual, I don't care about these other bits. Well, he did look very cool. I was aware of this when it went up for pre-order. I thought it looked cool. It was a cool concept, although you're buying one figure with accessories for three so you're buying three or you're binning the other parts. Or making your own version or whatever. Yeah, something. Something. And they had this beautiful box art. And I was just like, man, all right. I thought I was done with Masterverse. The box makes me wish there were Masterverse skeletons. Yeah. So, yeah, I got this guy. I opened the brown box. I saw this beautiful painted box on oh, awesome and then i opened up it's a it's a it's a window display yeah there's flaps inside and i opened them up and i got this pale piece of paleness just pale yeah i was gonna say color is kind of lifeless like it's all flat it's all boring it's all drained of color just compared to all my other masterverse guys yeah he, he doesn't fit in. Okay. Well, the skin tone, for sure, does not fit in with any other Masterverse I've seen. And there is two blues, two reds, and a red, and that. And then this has no nothing on it and is just the flattest. Like, you would have to put 14 layers of flat <laughs> to get any other toy <laughs> to get as dull as this or dull coat just. well out of the box i saw the helmet and i thought the helmet looked pretty good like the helmet, that's the that's metallic and it has like a beaten weather to it yeah it looks good this looks pretty good although the the crystal the jewel thing like it's that such, should be shiny instead such of a flat, flat but the blue you could barely make out the difference between and then his and then the shins don't match the helmet. The shins are just flat plastic, no paint. It's, it's The wrist weird. gauntlets don't match. The belt doesn't match. It's like they took dull coat and put it into the plastic mix. <laughs> They're like, we're tired of you guys complaining that our figures are too shiny. And we overdid it in the opposite direction. And the other thing was that... This one, like, I, it was, like, on the side of the leg. Like, oh. and I'm like, oh, 
they're, they're, they're not even separate legs. They're just... Yeah, it's, it's like attachments. I didn't look at like okay. how cheap oh, okay. it would be to switch him out pieces. Like, it, I mean, congratulations, you painted those brown. Thank you. Or actually, you probably painted this silver. I don't know which way it is, but... Just the most flat, boring, like, I have to put gloss coat on it to make it look <laughs> like he's just going to disappear. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy that he doesn't have the same <laughs> flush tone, but it's just... I understand the complaint about him not matching the rest of the line. I kind of like the skin tone, even though it doesn't have any shading as far as the musculature goes. I understand. I agree on the complaints regarding... Do you have a paint chip on the forehead, too? Uh, I understand the complaint as far as the armor, because I would... The armor just looks so bad. It it does look bad, especially the belt. Like, the, the shins and wrists at least have a touch of paint. The belt doesn't have anything, and it's close to the helmet, which does have a bunch of paint. It boggles the mind. It's like... Psst, stop. We're out of that paint. What? No more. But these are clearly separate pieces. Like, this is probably glued onto a head. Right. This so was painted kinda... separate. Just paint. What, yeah. What like, are you doing? It's it's so... And... and Accessories. Look, accessories. This dragon blaster gun thing has shiny plastic. Axe. Shiny plastic. Backpack, shiny plastic. I even like the clear wings, and the, like the clear wings even have like little flecks of stuff in them. Like, what? How? Just you have the plastic. If he had that plastic on the other grip, like I wouldn't be nearly as like yeah. Yeah. Just. So you open the flaps. They got me again. You open the flaps, you saw it, and then you close the box. Yeah, I was just like, I can't look at this right now. It's just... <laughs> I had buyer's remorse because I'm like, why am I buying another He-Man guy? And I'm like, because oh, it's another Viking dude. You love Viking dudes. You can go with your other Viking He-Man guys. It's going to be awesome. And then I was like, Ugh, yeah, no. Once again, they got me like, hey, yeah, effort. No. We're not. We're not going to put effort. When clearly... We, all we had to do was go, hey, Gary, use a vat B. That's even glitter plastic. Yeah. It's it's insane. Dude, and they have obviously have two vats of silver. And they went, eh. Just, and like, uh, he's the most lifeless face body but then he's got this awesome angry face and I'm like oh they, they know how to make faces like he's not just and then they're like oh I'm zombie like ah oh, it's so just mixed matched and like um do you want to look at the rest of the accessories can, sure okay Sh show the green tank so the green tank oh what head. paint apps well so there's there's paint there for the eye, but the rest flat, flat paint. Yeah, this this cool metallic looking box art is just flat plastic in reality. It's not great. I would take even the stupid Marvel Legends swirl metallic paint over this flat shit. Does this just go over the? I got the tank head the turtle head on there mm -hmm. he's got replaceable swappable chest gauntlet and shin stuff and then we've got scuba steve replaceable gauntlets and this thing that is the most efforts the most unique of the pieces of the looks that is the least impressive orange I have ever seen on a toy. It's not a great orange, but I mean, it's it's vibrant, whereas this is all monotone looking. I can at least say the green is army dark army green. Fine, okay? 
It's a tank. I get it. It's supposed to be a bright. This is the dullest white and orange combo you can make white and white. <laughs> <clears throat> if creamsicles look like this, no one would ever take them. Do you want a creamsicle? N no. <laughs> no, I don't. Thanks for offering. But you don't get to see the inside of a creamsicle until you've started eating. But you can look on the box and go, oh, is it going to be bright orange? No. Boxes lie. Obviously. Yeah. Um, yeah. And this, you just pop his head off, and this one has a head peg, so it's just a new head. Um, yeah. This just snaps on to the back. Forgot to mention that the jaw on this moves and the guns move. B. Yeah, this the the turtle. I keep calling it turtle. Um, I think is the most unique of. Well, this might be if I owned it, how I would keep it. Maybe hide the head of the other one. Hide the good head so the rest of it looks dull. It's very unique if you get them all armored up. Although, it's still very flat. Your concern about blending into the background would still be true, I think. I will point out that this has the three masters or man, man at arms. arms, orange button. Like, I like that. It's nice. So now that now that everything's out of the box, he also comes with two fists. Yes, so he got holding hands, punching action. But everything is out of the box now. Feelings change at all? So, in every every time I've ever seen any version of this figure, I've always hated the orange and white look. I understand it, but orange and white just, like, the, the green tank mode has always been my second favorite mode. Mode. The Vikings the least? No, the Vikings are oh, my okay. favorite. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> Until now... And I'm leaning on just making him a green tank guy. Because I just... It, I can understand a pale green tank guy. I can't understand a pale... Like, I'm so sick of having to paint or ask you to paint metal. Like, how do you fuck up metal? Just make it boring gray. Says every toy manufacturer ever in the history of toys that, like... Do you, do you want to show effort? No. No, effort went out in like '86, and it, so yeah, I'll, I'll probably maybe keep him in the mode that I would never consider. Yeah, because I do like the stupid man arm things. He's got some Wolverine claw action, kind of sort of. Be super nice if these had any like a color on them. These at least have more boring orange. Think that's Nerf. Nerf wouldn't put this out. Nerf would make bright neon orange and call it Nerf. This is like knockoff Nerf. This is like Nerf. <laughs> this is this is go to the dollar store Nerf, which is now the dollar twenty five store. But they can't, which just annoys me that they can't. Doesn't roll off the tongue as easy as no, store. but. Oh, they just can't admit it. Pretty. They don't want to change all the signage. Yeah, like, um, I like that this moves. That's neat. I didn't have to do that. But put some effort. Oh, what? Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> this is not worth not the paint. No. And even if you're not going to paint them, can you just not just? Uh, I didn't know you could pour dull coat into paint. Just intentionally into, in, matte finish? Yeah, just like how like this is the opposite like you have shiny plastic toys that are obviously toys. Yeah. And then you have like a, a, a custom painted toy like you would make that looks awesome. And then you have this which is like this is what you like this is the base coat 
before you paint it. Kind of. Except it's the finished product. Right. That I paid for. That you paid extra for because it comes with a All million accessories. All this extra crap. Yeah. And it was, uh, just, just, I will give them credit. Uh, the holding hands go up and down. So, with his axe accessory, he can do it properly. I have a request for Mattel. Army builds some robots and some skeletons. And maybe whatever the f*** this centipede alien thing is. Good God. That's cool. Look at how big that axe is on the back. It's a monster. Piddly little bullshit. Well, <clears throat> you also can't buy this, I don't think. So congratulations, you lucked out. You the saved fact that I just saw purchase. it selling on eBay for $100 blows my mind. Oh my God, no. What? Just box it back up. So slightly used. Sold for 75 God. Kinda. Does have real fur action. The fur has more life. Life. It's like he's not even from the anti-universe. He's just from the board universe. If you make him more pale, he could be a body on the ground. He could. I. I would just take this the helmet off, and he'll be a body on the ground. <laughs> he's not even full dead like Optimus Gray Optimus Prime. No. He's like halfway there. And yet, he's got this awesomely angry face. So I know he's not dead. <laughs> like, I want to put this head on a different guy, but then none of the flesh will die. Mm. Yeah, that'd be a problem. <sighs> so. Like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cats and dogs do not sleep together because of this toy. <laughs>